Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you um, my autumn file. Now, um, I would have um, apologised for the lighting in here. I would have filmed it um, in one of the main areas of the home, but my family is watching telly, so I thought I would just come in here and show you. So I've just gotten a normal ring binder folder, um, and I've used my Cricut to embellish it with some pumpkins and leaves and a black cat. And there it says autumn with a pumpkin. I got this file from Wilco. So, I don't know if you can see, there's a black cat there. Um, I will try and leave a link down to all the um, printables and places that I found um, things to print at in the description box below. So, there is just the, I think this is from the House of Mabon, there is the cover page. And then I've got autumn fun, September, October, November, autumn drinks, autumn small meals and soups. There's breakfast in there as well. Mains, sides, holiday bakings and preserves. Now this, the idea of this is to have a file where I plan, but also a place to keep everything for that season. So autumn fun, you'll see the things I've got in there. In September, there's journal pages, there's goals, there's a calendar. Um, there is the sort of festivals or holidays that we celebrate in that month within each month. So I'll show you as I go along. So autumn fun. Um, this is a page I made up myself of Huga ideas and things that I like to do. Um, in autumn and I've just popped that in here this I believe um, there are far better things ahead than we leave behind by C.S. Lewis is a quote I think from the house of Mabon as well um, on um, on the internet then I've printed out one of my favorite poems the Desiderata um, this is I, I love this I believe it's by Max Ehrman um, I'll try and leave a link to it as well it is a beautiful beautiful poem and it's one of my favorites and then we I need to decorate these pages. I need to put in September and then, you know, do something beautiful here. But I haven't yet done that. So that is a project for another time. But um, here's September. So I've got an autumn bu bucket list that will go from September to October to November. And I'll cross off things or tick things as I go along. Um, I can um, leave some ideas of what is on my autumn bucket list in the description box if you're interested or perhaps um i'm not sure if i can make this a printable but i might do it on my blog so you can go and print it off there if you would like then i've put down by month autumn celebrations so september october and november things like back to school um heritage open days around england in historic homes um <laughs> one of the funniest ones is the 19th of September is International Talk Like a Pirate Day, which I think is fantastic. Um, then October there's a Harvest Festival, National Poetry Day, World Mental Health Day, um, Halloween. Um, in November there's the Mexican Day of the Dead, Stress Awareness Day, Guy Fawkes Remembrance Day and Thanksgiving and also St Andrew's Day. Um, we don't celebrate each and every single one of these. I may start doing that, so we may have like a Mexican themed dinner on the, the um, Dia de los Muertos day. Um, you know, we could do something like that. I don't know yet. Um, in my quest to live more seasonally and to enjoy everything that the season holds, I may start doing more of the things and celebrating more of the holidays that other parts of the world celebrate. Um, so that is just something I've put in here to make me aware that those dates happen in this month and then perhaps I can do something to celebrate those or perhaps just investigate them to find out more about the meaning of some of these things. I've got some cozy autumn video ideas here. I've got an autumn journal. I believe that this was from the printablecollection.com. So there's some um reflection pages things that i'd like to do some priorities pages for notes then i've got some autumn podcasts that i found that i'd like to take a listen to for autumn i've got some autumn films like crimson peak practical magic enola um just films that i find cozy not all of these will will be cozy to everybody but i find them particularly cozy films like amelie and sweet home alabama the downson abbey films 
Um, so I've put that on the list. Um, cozy TV shows that I might be able to watch. Gilmore Girls, Downton Abbey, The Good Witch. I love The Good Witch. And with an E, Lark's Rise to Candleford, A Discovery of Witches. Um, and then lots and lots of cozy book recommendations. So I've scoured the internet. I've watched videos like Dizzy Darling. Um, her videos on what to watch in autumn and I've made myself a rather long list of videos that I can sorry of books that I would like to try and read in autumn I may not be able to read them all this year but I may be this this list may just carry over to next year then I've got um, an article here because to me autumn is a reminder to live slower I find in summer, summer is just because it's the best season of the year in England in terms of weather where we can actually do things and get out and do building work or gardening or what have you. It just seems to be such a busy time and, and autumn when it rolls around, just just even the days and the weather reminds me just to slow down. So I've printed an article here. I think this is from um, Mabon House. I'm not sure but on slow living. So um, I'll, if I can find it again, I will print it off and um, leave a link in the description or in my corresponding blog post. So, and then here, oh yeah, it was from a bond house. I'm sure it was. And then here is a slow living thought list, just sort of like a, a journaling page, which I quite like the look of. And <laughs> this is a page I found on Pinterest, I believe, for how to dry herbs. Now I, I have some herbs growing in my garden that I would like to try and dry and use throughout the year. So I just wanted to find out how to do that and it, this seemed the most appropriate place to put it. So um, drying herbs. The next one is September, I believe. So is it September? Yeah, September. So I found this online and I absolutely love it. I'll try and see if I can link it in my post. Um, I can't remember where I got it from, but I will look it up. Then I've printed off page per month um, for the different um, calendar pages for each month so here's September um, an autumn to-do list things I would like to get done or that need to be done an autumn goals focus um, I've just I've done one for each month so I've put autumn goal focus and I've written in the month September and one for October and one for November and then I've printed off here some gratitude um, journals because I really would like to start making that more of a practice in my life so I've written down um, sorry I've, I've printed off some pages for journaling for gratitude there's one for each week of September and then an autumn photo a day challenge I really like this idea and I would love to do this and put this on um, um, Instagram and then these are some lovely pages that I printed off from, um, oh, what is her name, Susan Branch. She's got, she's got the most amazing, amazing books and the most beautiful illustrations and recipes. I would love to buy some of her books. So I've printed this off. Um, this is just a page on the, the Harvest King, which I absolutely loved. And also from a Bon House, uh, Mabon House. September the month of the harvest moon and it's just sort of a journaling page as well which I, I quite like the idea of incorporating journaling into this because I believe you know I always think to myself we have a separate planner we have a separate journal we have a separate recipe book or recipe file we have and I sort of wanted to amalgamate everything into sort of one place for that season even though some of these journal pa oh gosh that's October that shouldn't be there but never mind even though some of these pages um might not be big enough to journal everything um, it's just sort of seasonal journaling here and if I want to um, I can start another sort of journal for every day um, here's a September planner I think this is from the printable collection as well things I just like to do just sort of a more of a journal page um, an autumn equinox um, or Mabon um, this is a page I printed off from Pinterest I believe but it comes from um, blessing manifesting and I believe the lady's name is Domini she is the um, um, a 
person who runs this blog. Fantastic blog for resources, um, and I really like this. Um, I, look, I'm not a pagan, okay? Um, I do believe in a lot of varied things. I believe myself to be predominantly Christian, but I do believe in a variety of different things. And while I don't necessarily believe, you know, I won't necessarily engage in wooden spell work, um, I do like the idea of balance and getting rid of negativity in my life because autumn always seems to be the time of the year when you think or when I think about what's gone well, what can I let go of. I become really introspective in autumn um, and I find it's a brilliant time of year to sort of evaluate and I found that some of these sort of key phrases here like balance, releasing negativity and bad habits, um, focusing on pros prosperity is a really good reminder for me um, I love the idea about gratitude and things that I might like to eat during autumn and decorating and so I quite liked this principle for that reason it, once again I'm not pagan but I do love the idea of celebrating or sort of having a nod in the home to festivals that would have been held in this country in England in Scotland in Ireland um, throughout the centuries I, I just find that so fascinating and I love learning about them and I love sort of sort of giving a nod and, and sort of having sort of engaging in some of the activities that may have been done in the old days and in the old ways and I really love that so I've printed this off because I just sort of love the idea of it and I love um, the symbolism and you know it's just beautiful to me next i've printed off some um youtube video ideas so this is a sort of a planner that i've created um, um that's for the month ahead so kind of the ideas for the month and then here's one page for each of the videos so that i can um plan out the video and where i've gotten with each one of those so and here it is this this is also from the Bon House. This is um, celebrating and entertaining for Mabon if that's a if that's a celebration I wish to have with other people, invite people around. Kind of like a Mabon is kind of like a harvest festival. That's the way I see it anyway. Um, and it is the actual um, the equinox start of autumn. So I quite like the idea of maybe having a little a little party or a little celebration um, for that. So um, it's just an idea I'm toying with this year. We might have people around. And then we're on to October, and this is one of my favorite quotes in all the world. I need to print off, sorry, for September. The quote that I want here is the um, J.K. Rowling quote. The 1st of September, I can't remember exactly how it goes now, but it said something along the lines of the 1st of September arrived and it was crisp and golden as an apple and I love that quote and I want to put that in the front here so I must remember that but the quote for October that I absolutely love is from Anne of Green Gables and it says I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers Anne of Green Gables which I just loved and I love this printable it's by KaylaAmy.com and then this one is, listen, the wind is rising and the air is wild with leaves. We have had our summer evenings now for October eves. And it's by Humbert Wolf. So once again, I've got the um, calendar page, autumn to-do list, autumn goals, gratitude. I've just printed off the same one. And then I've got... Um, a self-care challenge this is also from at blessing and manifesting so there's lots of self-care challenges and things i can do here which i really love the idea of this may be split between september and october because you know how life gets when you're a busy mum so um i might just split them between the two months but i really loved this this printable and i mean look at the toadstool how cute is that and then this is celebrating halloween now the irish call it Samhain. Um, and this is from Mabon House and celebrating Samhain. And I just love finding out how people actually, because we think of Halloween as all oh, dressing up in cute costumes and running around, you know, um, gathering candy and sweets and 
you know carving pumpkins and things but i just really love to find out about the actual tradition and where it came from how it was celebrated what people did how they did it i found that really fascinating so for me that is just a bit of a bit of interesting reading again my youtube planner pages and then this is from the printable collection as well the boo planner which i think is fantastic just journaling pages really but they're just so cute and the little witch's hat there and more pages there and then happy Samhain although it says Samhain it's pronounced Samhain how weird that's Gaelic for you um then there's a from the Mabon house a, Sa a Samhain celebration meal planner so if we wanted to have a Halloween party I could use that and then on to November so November Thanksgiving this is a page from Susan Branch I just found the principal online and November the calendar page autumn to-do list um, November goals list Thanksgiving journaling um, November moon is called it's the month of the beaver moon and it's a journaling page there another page from Susan branch which I just thought was so sweet um, another page also from Susan branch and some more journaling pages now in november in england we have bonfire night so i have printed off here um i've scanned in uh, i've typed this up scanned in some of the pages from one of my favorite books which is called celebrations by um pippa middleton so i've just printed off some of the pages and put them here some ideas for celebrating and having a little get together on bonfire night so if you I highly recommend that book if you want a really really awesome book on the different celebrations of the year and how to you know have little get-togethers and fun that is the book that is the absolute pinnacle for me I love that book so lovely drinks for autumn for having a, a nice warming drink outside when you're having bonfire night then my YouTube planning pages and that is that for November next comes um seasonal drinks so i've put this here because i didn't actually know where to put it and that is what fruits and vegetables are in season so i've put that page here and then i've got this is drinks and sort of small recipes that i didn't know where else to put so homemade pumpkin spice um starbucks copycat pumpkin spice latte um vanilla coffee creamer pumpkin spice coffee creamer autumn spice cider hot toddies uh, mulled apple cider, pumpkin smoothie, uh, caffeine free chai mix, um, pumpkin spice iced coffee and then we move on to small meals so I've got lots of ideas for porridge, um, fruit compote, pumpkin pancakes, literally any recipe that fitted into the season that I thought was going to be something that I would love to try in autumn and that really inspires me I've put in this section so here's some for soups butternuts as well curried pumpkin pots uh, cheeseburger soup broccoli cheese soup loaded cauliflower soup chicken parmesan soup um, corn chowder don't know why that's printed gingerbread men there but never mind it's there now so the next section of course is main meals so uh, this was a waitrose recipe actually sauteed chicken cider and lovage um, so just lots of different recipes that I would love to cook in autumn. I've taken my um, file where I have all my recipes and I've pulled out a whole bunch of different recipes that I had in there that I thought would be wonderful for autumn and I have stuck them in here. Um, and then we have side dishes, things like onion pudding, but mashed butternut squash, garlic roasted butternut squash, uh, what else? Just some lovely, lovely recipes here. And then on to baking. So this recipe for parkin, which is generally had in autumn as well. Pumpkin scones with pumpkin spice glaze, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's desserts and baking in one section. And then the last section is preserve recipes. So, you know, caramelized onion chutney or tomato autumn chutney. Uh, things like that apple and blackberry jam easy pumpkin puree from scratch so 
this guys is my autumn folder there are lots more things that i can put in here and this file will probably become fatter over time it will become you know things will be taken out more things will be put in but i just love having everything seasonal for that season in one place so that i can refer back to it and i can sort of live out of this one file for that season i really absolutely adore this idea so that is my autumn file i hope that you like this idea um and i hope that it's something that you might try and adopt for yourself um and if you create your own file let me know what things you've put in your file and what kind of things appeal to you what things you think i might need in here what things um you know any ideas you have i'd love to hear if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe